Okay, quick video today. We're going to look at a couple of things. This is Enroute 7, the latest version. If we click on About Enroute, you can see it's build number 1043. And today is Thursday, August 11th, 2022, when we're making this video. Um, one of the new things that I noticed in Enroute that we're going to have is this cloud window. So this is new for this build. And what this gives you is uh, links to the training, the one-on-one -on -one online um, virtual training classes. Addendo is now the official training channel for Enroute. And Enroute experts and Enroute employees will create accounts and make themselves available for training on there. And you can see those. They're also starting to offer in-person or on-site training. Obviously, that would be at an additional cost, and you can click on there to find out. And you can always contact us for our typical online and on-site training as well. Um, there's also the knowledge base, YouTube videos, calendars for events, training, support, contact us buttons. And then down here, you can manage subscriptions to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and all that stuff for SAI slash Enroute. Um, and if you want to turn that cloud off, it's simply over here in the view and you can just click cloud window and that'll toggle that on and off. I recently did an install on a really old computer. I was surprised that Enroute 7 ran on it, but the monitor we were using was so small that we, we needed to get rid of that window in order to see the real estate better. So there you have it. In today's video, we're going to talk about one particular thing and that is how do we get a better finish on the edge of a part? So obviously finish is greatly um, affected by our feed speed and our spindle speed and the actual tool we're using. But there's also a trick. If you've got all those dialed in the best that you can, there is another trick where we can take a finishing pass on the edge of that part without changing the parts uh, shape and size. So if we go to offsets, we're gonna click on routing offset. We are going to a tool in this case I'll just do a half inch end mill just to uh, just to do that in any depth we'll say quarter inch depth and we're gonna go into edit then you would normally set up your feeds and speeds again that's gonna be dependent on your material and all that kind of stuff we're just gonna put in some numbers here 400 inches a minute 60 minute inches a minute plunge and then uh, 15,000 rpm just as an example. You'll also want to do your entry exit parameters. And again, we don't want to make this video too long, so we'll skip that for now. And then instead of just clicking OK and getting our toolpath, we're now going to click on the half inch mill again. So now we have a rough pass and a clean pass. In the clean pass, we can do the same feeds and speeds, or you can change it up if you want. 400, 60, 15,000. But the difference is, and here we'll go into widths. Now, if you look at widths, the default for a clean pass width is half the diameter of a tool. So in this case, we're using a half inch tool, so it's going to give us a quarter inch clean pass. So if we click OK, click OK again. We zoom in, you should see that green. That is our clean pass. So the first tool comes in and automatically offsets itself by a quarter inch. You don't have to think about it after this setup. And it goes around the part and then it comes back and goes around the part again, but, but now it's taking off that final quarter inch of material. And that's how you can start to get an even better finish by taking off less material. Now think of it like we're kissing that edge. We're coming back and just doing a final clean pass on that edge. And so that's, that's how to achieve that. And now, when it comes to that clean pass and that width, that's something you're going to play around with a little bit. You can do a little bit of research on the web and find out for your specific material and your specific tool, maybe what the best width for that final clean pass might be. And so maybe in this case, it's 40 thousandths instead of a quarter inch. So if we put in 0 0.040 and we click OK, you can see that green is now very, very small. That's 40 thousandths. Now, some materials, you'll actually start to get a, uh, a lower quality finish if you go too small on that clean pass. 
In some materials, if you get too big of a clean pass, it's just going to look just like the original pass. So you might have to, like I said, do some trial and error or do some research online to find out what the best uh, possible clean pass amount is for your particular um, application and material. So that's just a little bit of how to create that KISS pass or that clean pass in NROUTE 7. Hope this helps. Thanks.